Welcome to another episode of Timber Movies. On this episode, we're going to be showing you how to change a disk drive on your riding lawnmower. Now, for a disk drive, um, they, depending on how you use your clutch, they can last for anywhere up to two to four years. I usually get two years out of mine. Um, this is what a brand new disk drive looks like. Oh, it's all the rubber that's still left on it. And this is what an old one looks like. See how it's all burnt off? So it is necessary to replace them every few years. So if you take a look underneath there, see that your disk drive is all worn off like this one right here is right now. Then you know it's time for a new one. So today we're going to be showing you how to replace it. Now the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your machine has the parking brake set. It's in first gear, very important. And that you have a good stable surface to put it on so you can get underneath without having to fall over and kill yourself. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is locate the disk drive we already have right here. So we need to take all the screws out on the sides. All you need to do is take a simple wrench, twist them all out, and make sure you don't lose them. And then you should be able to have the disk drive off shortly after. All right. Now as you can see, I put a wrench here to hold this middle bolt right here, otherwise the disk will move. And I loosened up this first bolt at the bottom here, so we're just going to untighten it by hand. It's the best thing for the bolts in the uh, part right here. As soon as you break it, basically with your wrench, then you want to get it out the regular way. Now once your bolt is out, you want to make sure it stays in the same order with the cut and washer. You see right here, make sure you put them off to the side so you don't lose them. Um, there's about five or six of them I believe. And all there is to it basically for getting it off. Alright, we finally have it off. Um, once we got all these bolts off, two pieces came off. The front guard right here. And the drive disc. Now see this one still has a bit of rubber on it, but you notice all these cracks here. It's been sitting all winter and it's been used a lot. We have a lot of uh, rough terrain in our area too, so it makes the uh, driver really crappy. So better off just now to replace it, but I'll save this just in case for a backup disc since it still works perfectly fine. Now what we're going to do next is get our new disc. fit the guard over it on the end right here and you know which side is the right one because you can see sort of how the paint's been worn away around the bolts are line up the uh, right parts to it and then we're going to slip it back on where it should go right underneath here you can see where the holes are and you tighten the bolts and give it for a test run that's all there is to it um, any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Good luck.